Anxiety, I'm so stressing right now. Give me this cherry bomb. What is up guys, it is TB here, and we're back with some plot and rot. Let's do this. So uh, yeah, last time we got the iceberg lettuce finally, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to try them out. And so yeah, hopefully we can do levels 11, 12, and 13 today. And then we can finally get the soul turnip by doing the bonus level. But uh, yeah, because that was pretty difficult. So I'm going to do all these levels first, and then I'll go to the bonus level. And yeah, now we have the iceberg lettuce. Hopefully we have some, uh, some more interesting strategies. So let's go to uh, level 11. Cactus campsite, day 11. Objectives. Okay, complete the level while some plants are picked for you. All right then. So yeah, we've got our grave sites again. Those are some really interesting tiles. And I love how they affect the gameplay. Oh, okay, yeah. So pick the iceberg list, so we have to use it. And these tiles speed up our um, our plants as well as the zombies. So we got to watch out for that. So I'll just start by putting sunflowers here. And this is zero sun, so let's put the iceberg lettuce there. Because why not? And wait for it to recharge. Okay, the recharge is a bit slow on that. And I, I'm guessing, yeah, he'll definitely make it to this iceberg lettuce, I think, before he dies. So we'll see what the uh, effect looks like. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much the same. He's got, like, some icicles at his feet. Yeah, so it acts pretty much as you'd expect it to from uh, PvZ2. All right, I'm going to get this pine dude set up there. Evermean. Just on this fast moon tile so he can attack quickly when the zombie starts eating him. All right, and we've got a cone head coming up, so I'll put him down on the fast shooting tile. So hopefully... That really helps a lot. And I'll freeze them as well. There we go. Nice, nice, Alright, and we'll put an asparagus. Actually, yeah, we'll put it behind this pea shooter. So yeah, and we won't get the taco abilities until the the big wave approaches when, when the flag zombie drops the tacos. So yeah, and I'll probably use it then on the sunflowers to increase my uh, sun production as much as possible. But even with this iceberg lettuce, I don't know if, we're, if I'm going to be able to... Um, complete that extra level because it's so difficult like I have no idea how I'm supposed to get through that but hopefully I can maybe with the iceberg lettuce it helps a lot I'm not sure also I'm not sure if the, the iceberg lettuce is gonna have a uh, taco ability or not it'd be cool to see he probably does he should yeah with the other plants do all right I'll put down another asparagus there yeah so this this is the farmer zombie as you can see right here he's tilling the soil and uh making more zombies, because I guess that's how that works. I don't know. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm being eaten at the bottom here. Darn it. Okay. Yeah, my asparagus. All right, we're going pretty well, although there's quite a lot of zombies now. Okay. I oh, it freezes multiple zombies if they're close. The iceberg lettuce. That's cool. Oh, yes. Taco ability. Taco time. Taco time. Sunflowers. Let me just... Yeah. At least I'll do it to three sunflowers so we get a bunch more sun. And I'll upgrade... These dudes, boom. The ever means into winter ever means. I'm not sure what they're actually called, but I think ever winter, I think that's what they're called. Yeah, and they, they also freeze zombies now that I've used the attacker uh, ability on them. Okay, we've got outhouse zombie coming in, scooching over, carrying the entire outhouse with them. That's amazing. Let me just freeze them. <laughs> I still love how he opens the door <laughs> to eat plants and he's frozen now. I'll put another asparagus here. Freeze the farmer, as well as some other dude. I think we've pretty much got this in the bag. Ooh, give me, give me that. Okay, Crazy Dave coin. Um, yeah, I, I can start putting just Evermeans in front of the other Evermeans. Yeah, so the farmers and outhouses, interesting combination. Um, I like, I like their abilities though. They're really, they're cool. And it fits the Cackler's campsite theme very, very well. Final wave, okay. Sweet, 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 sweet. Oh my gosh, look how many outhouses are coming. What the heck, man? This is an outhoused army right here. I'll upgrade these ones in the middle. Uh, yeah. Those two asparaguses. So now they can shoot across three lanes at once. That should really help out with all these outhouses in the middle. Wow. So much death. So much destruction. But uh, yeah, we're going great. Whoa. So many of them are dying. This is crazy. We got them. We got them. No worries. There we go. And just like that, we done. Give me that Crazy Dave coin. Oh, give me that bag of coins. In the sweet, sweet victory. Day 12. I think day 13, yeah, is the last one. Um, so far in the game. But then I have to do the bonus level because I want to try this new soul plant, which I do not have. The soul turnip. Ooh, but there, and there is a lot of tiles here which will speed up the zombies. Oh, that's not good. And I cannot wait for them to up update this game. Like when this game has so much potential, I, I really hope the creator doesn't stop updating it. I cannot wait to see what the other worlds are like when they're added. What would I like to see? I could see a city area where they kind of 
Because this is like the campsite, right? So they could kind of do a city area as well. Which introduces like um, the PVZ heroes characters. That, I think that would be really cool. So like you'd have Green Shadow, Chompzilla, Solar Flare, and all those dudes. And then you'd have Super Brains, the Disco Zombie uh, hero, and all that stuff. I think that would be really cool um, to see in like this 2D tower defense format. I think that would work really well. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to see what direction the creator takes. But either way, I think it's going to be amazing. It should be fine. But this is not fine. There's a cone ahead coming. Approaching. I need to freeze them. Come on. Give me iceberg lettuce. Oh, man. This game is really good. I think, yeah, it definitely facilitates like a really good strategy. Okay, we got a bucket head at the top. But luckily, that lane is the most equipped anyway to deal with him. So that's great. Upgrade this dude, upgrade this dude, upgrade one sunflower. We've got another outhouse dude here. Yeah, why not? I'll put another asparagus in there. Do 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 do. Ooh, the bucket head almost made it through at the top there. I'll, I'll upgrade this asparagus too. There we go. That'll help out a lot. Also, I love how, yeah, it's just a small detail, but when you click on any plant, it shows a miniature version in your hand. I kind of noticed that like the entire series, but I haven't really mentioned it, but like, yeah, it is a really cool feature. Top lane might be going away, unless I can do something about it. Oh, no, never mind. We're all good. We're all good. Victory! Yeah. Okay, so I have a huge attack in Calculus Campsite without lawn mowers. Do you get the conveyor belt? That would be fun. So far, they only have one conveyor belt level, but I'd like there to be another one, but... Something tells me... Oh, yes, it is a conveyor belt level. Yes! That's awesome. These are so fun. A cherry bomb, and I love the music, by the way, that they do for these levels. Yeah, so we've pretty much got every plant we've unlocked so far, except for the sunflower. Let's move on. There's a lot of, um, grave sites. Let's do this. Potato mine there. Peace shooter there. We got this. We got this. I'm filling the groove with the music. We got this. Du, du. Du, du. Spudow! Get mashed potato. Alright. Put a walnut there and a peach shooter here. Okay. Hopefully this cone head will die. But I, oh, I can freeze them. There we go. Huge wave zombies approaching. Okay. This is the only lane without a walnut. They all have two peach shooters already. I'll just put one there. Walnut, yep, put that there. Okay. Oh, yes, give me an asparagus. And I'll put him in the middle so he can shoot across three lanes with the taco. And I'll give these shoot peace shooters tacos on the other side. Cool. Ooh, we're going great. Give me some tacos. Upgrade you. Taco ability, taco ability, taco ability, taco ability. Oh my gosh. So much is happening. All right, let's put this pine dude in the middle. And here I'll do that. The ever means. Oh, I have more than I need now. This is a really good defense, so I think, uh, yeah. Oh, we got some people getting through. I got a cherry bomb there. Oh. Whoa, what happened? All the zombies are dead? What's happened? Oh, look, there's something flashing here, but it's in the corner. I can barely see it, but let me see what it does. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that was. I couldn't see it, but I clicked it. Yeah, we did it, guys. I like the Evermeans rolling their eyes. Crank a turn. You got a new gizmo. Wow. A missing part of the fog matic allows further exploration of the area. Ah, oh, but please tell me there's at least something. Give me something. Okay, there we go. Thank you for playing. Oh, this is the end of the current gameplay, and I thank you for sticking around till the end. Yeah, oh my gosh. It's so good. I, I, I can't wait for more, dude. This project has, been, has taken me nearly 300 hours and multiple months of hard work and frustrations. So I do appreciate you taking your time to play it. I have way more worlds, plants, and zombies planned, though I don't expect them to come anytime soon. This may be the time I take a break at work on, and work on more fruitful projects. Once again, thank you for playing. Small events and mini games may be added until then, so stay tuned. I'm really happy with what they produced so far, and I cannot wait for the future of this game. It is going to be amazing. And I can't wait to watch this game develop. And uh, if you want to give me some uh, exclusive uh, access to the to the next part of this game, or the next update, before everyone else, uh, hook me up. Hook me up. Now let's go back to the bonus level. Calculus game site, bonus one. All right. Hopefully I can get the, uh, the cursed plant. And then I'll just try it out briefly. Give me enough sun. Peace shooter here. 
Bottom line, bottom line. The bottom line, no. Okay. The cherry bomb might just recharge in time. Oh my gosh. Anxiety, anxiety. I'm so stressing right now. Give me this cherry bomb. The bottom lane needs a cherry bomb right now. Oh my gosh, please, please. Oh, the top lane too. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna lose this. There's no way I can get through this. Oh wait, hold on. Don't give up hope. Do not give up hope. Do not give up hope. The top lane. Freeze them. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, thank goodness there's a mower there. I had to use all my mowers. Oh my gosh, I've done it. Oh my gosh. How did I do that? I don't know. I'm amazing. Oh my gosh. That was so stressful. There he is. Give me my soul plant. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was genuinely like... That was so scary. Soul turnip, finally. Alright, soul turnip. Frenzy zombies when eaten. But makes some once vanquished. Cursed plants cannot be shoveled. Okay, boosted upgraded. Let's... Day 7. Okay, I've already done day 7. But uh, I'll play it. Just a little bit uh, right now, just to show off this soul turn up and see what he can do. I'll put him there. Oh, he's beating like a heart. I'm finally gonna see him in action. They should call it a beat root because it's beating. Like, why would. Yeah, it seems like. Whoa, what just happened? Where is he going? He's just gonna eat my sunflower. What the heck is that? What is the point of that? When would it ever be beneficial for a zombie to eat my own plants? Oh, oh, I know why. Wait, because what? It said they produce some when they die, right? Is that the trade-off? That's the worst trade-off I've ever heard. So yeah, so if I put this walnut there, give him the soul turnip. Now he's faster and he's eating my walnut. And I need to quickly get a pea shooter down. So if I do that, so what's the benefit? My pea shooter is shooting him. And... Okay, he's dying. So, is it gonna drop something? Oh my gosh. He's moving so quickly. What is the benefit of this? But yeah, let's see what happens. So you ate this whole turn up, he's faster. And then... Let's put another pea shooter here. And then he dies, right? Oh my gosh. He's so strong. What? I don't know, I have 150 sun now. It must have come from the curse plant. Okay, so it did give me some sun, it must have. That is not enough of a bonus for me to be like, oh yeah, yeah I want to use the soul turnip. Like, that's such a big weakness. Like, I don't know. I, I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like down below and comment what your thoughts are on this game. Also, while you're down there, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It would really help me out a ton and it would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.